Hello, and welcome to Karma Houdini Gaming. Today, I'm going to talk about the Tales of Arise demo. As a longtime fan of the Tales series, I've been keeping my eye on news about the upcoming game in the series, Tales of Arise, which launches worldwide on September 10th, 2021. Like many series veterans, I've had a fair share of both positive and negative reactions to the game as more news came out, leaving me with the feeling that I just needed to try a demo to figure out where I stand on the game pre-launch, once and for all. Thankfully, a free demo came out this past week, and I've run through it about four or five times at this point. The footage you're seeing is from the PS5 version of the demo. Now let's dig into my impressions, starting with the graphics and visuals. First off, I have to say the game looks absolutely gorgeous. I tested it on a base PS4 and on the PS5, and even on the PS4 the game still looked amazing. There were some occasional frame rate slowdowns during the more intense fights on the PS4, but nothing significant. The character models also look really good, pretty much like an improved version of the character models they used in Berseria. The new custom shaders really pay off for creating a striking unified look to the characters and environments though. The battle animations are also great, which is expected for this series. They managed to make flowy clothing on some of the characters work in motion, which is impressive. Moving on to the battle system, it took me a little bit to get used to the different control scheme. Normal attacks are now on the R1 button. There's no blocking button aside from Kisara, who uses the universal dodging button to block with her shield instead. Circle is used to jump, etc. Part of me is considering remapping the button assignment when I play the full game, but I also think that after playing the demo multiple times, I'm already pretty used to the new default control scheme. As for the actual combat, battles flow very fluidly. Arise encourages you to make use of the whole team of characters together to most effectively dispose of your enemies, with there being a high pace to the combat that may be overwhelming at first to serious newcomers. In the actual game though, you'll start off with just one or two characters and probably only a couple tools for combat and slowly unlock the rest as you go on, as per usual. That means it'll be easy for newcomers to get into the game. And there's also selectable difficulties even in the demo, so if you're having trouble, you can start on an easier difficulty. Being able to manually jump during combat again is great, and you can really stay in the air for a long time by mixing normal attacks, arts, and the tag-in moves, which are called boost strikes or boost attacks, I forget which. Using the D-pad to call upon your allies for a quick tag-in move restores some of your AG, which is the resource for using your arts, your special attacks, so you can extend your combos by doing so. During boss battles, you will really have to stay on your toes and watch the enemy in order to dodge and keep your health up. Arise surprised me with this difficulty. It's by no means an insanely hard game, but it does require the player to pay attention, pick and choose when to attack, and to coordinate attacks between multiple characters, making use of their unique abilities and team synergy. Moving on to the field and exploration, it's really cool being able to swim on the field map for the first time, and the field animations all look quite nice. Unfortunately, there are no dungeons in this short demo, but the field areas we do get to explore are fun to walk around, with tons of visual variety and elevation differences. You can now jump on the field map as well, allowing you to jump off of cliffs to get down from a higher part of the map. You can even jump into a body of water. The fields are definitely a massive improvement over what we've been getting ever since Tales of Exilia. I'm also glad that cooking is still around, and camping on the field is a nice way to take some time to catch up on skits while you refill your team's HP and CP. CP, or cure points by the way, are your team's pool for casting healing or support arts and magic. CP can be restored by sleeping or by using items like orange gels or, or pineapple gels. Since healing magic is actually really good again in this game, I guess they wanted to make sure there's a way to counterbalance it. But as long as you play well and have some orange gels or pineapple gels on hand, CP honestly wasn't a big issue, at least not in this demo. When Tales of Arise was first announced, everybody was wondering who the composer would be. The producer Tomizawa was kind of secretive about it at first, but eventually it turned out that the composer is Motoi Sakuraba, who composes the music for most of the Tales games. So why the secrecy? Well, this time Sakuraba has access to a live orchestra, so all the music is performed by live musicians, and it sounds great. It really helps the music feel more, well, alive. The compositions themselves are quite good as well. The battle theme in this uh, demo is really good. It's the best normal battle theme we've had in a long while, in my opinion. The voice acting in both dubs is good, although I tend to prefer the Japanese dub in most cases, but people who like English dubs shouldn't be disappointed, because from what I can tell, the English dub is really good too. So as for my overall impressions, I really liked this demo, much more than I was expecting to. 
Every time I played the demo, experimenting with all the characters' playstyles, I found that I liked the game more and more. The rhythm and pace of combat is a lot of fun, and in some ways reminds me of much older games in the series like Fantasia, Symphonia, or Innocence R, but with the combo fluidity and fast movement of the more modern games. Even boss fights, which I was initially concerned about before playing the demo, are a lot of fun once you play the game on its own terms instead of expecting it to be something else. There's a nice back and forth during boss fights, and you really need to make use of team synergy, as I said before, to play well. The game still requires a lot of player skill and attentiveness, and there's a lot of room for combo potential, especially once the full game comes out with all the uh, equipable skills and such at our disposal. The characters from what we see of them in this demo seem likable and have fun interactions, which is what the series is known for. The new presentation for skits may not be 100% my favorite thing, but I don't dislike them. I think they work well, they don't offend me at all. I'm hoping this game will have good dungeons and a good story. If it has those, I think Tales of Arise is shaping up to be the all-around best Tales game in a very long time. So that about does it for this video. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content here on Karma Houdini Gaming. Goodbye!